Did you know that in our Construction Mistakes series, we're delving into some startling incidents? From the collapse of a Hard Rock Hotel during construction to a major dam bursting in the 1970s, today's story highlights a tragic engineering error that resulted in the deaths of 114 people. Specifically, we'll reveal how a simple pair of nuts became the root cause of this devastating mistake, marking one of the most tragic engineering failures in U.S. history. Hard Rock Hotel Collapse Did you know about the Hard Rock Hotel collapse in New Orleans? It happened on a site that was supposed to host a new hotel, replacing an old Woolworth store. Back in 2011, plans were set to build a high-rise with apartments, shops, and restaurants, but those plans changed in 2018 when Kayla's companies decided to build a 350-room Hard Rock Hotel instead. Construction started smoothly, but disaster struck in October 2019 when the top floors of the hotel collapsed suddenly. Three workers died, and many others were injured. It was later revealed that weak support beams on the 16th and 17th floors were overstressed, especially after modifications were made to accommodate higher ceilings without breaching height limits. These beams couldn't handle the weight, leading to the tragic collapse. Investigations found that critical inspections were neglected and warnings from engineers about structural weaknesses were ignored. Ultimately, the building's flaws caused its demise, and the site was eventually demolished. This incident stands as a stark reminder of the importance of rigorous construction oversight and adherence to safety standards in building projects. The sinking of the Vasa, Let's go back a few centuries to August 1628. The King of Sweden commissioned a new warship called the Vasa, designed by Henrik Hybertsen, a skilled shipbuilder. Unlike other warships of its time, the Vasa was unique with two gun decks stacked with heavy bronze cannons for greater firepower. On its maiden voyage in Stockholm, thousands gathered to see this magnificent ship. However, within minutes of being launched, the Vasa started to sink right in the harbor. The ship was too heavy due to the extra gun deck, and a gust of wind caused it to tilt and take on water through the open gun ports. Despite efforts to save everyone on board, including families invited for the ride, 30 people drowned out of the 150 aboard. The sinking was a huge embarrassment for the King of Sweden, especially considering the Vasa had cost a significant portion of the country's economy at the time. This incident remains a poignant example of a grand project undone by engineering miscalculations. Tate and Dam Disaster Let's fast forward to the 1970s. In eastern Idaho, the Tate and Dam had just been completed at the top of the Snake River Plain. It was an earthen dam made of tightly compacted earth, which is often cheaper than concrete dams, though the Tetons still cost over $100 million. The dam held back a large reservoir intended for irrigation, hydroelectric power, and flood control. Less than a year after completion, problems arose. A leak appeared, visible as brownish water running down the dam's face. Efforts to seal it with a bulldozer were too slow, and the leak worsened. Eventually, part of the dam collapsed, unleashing a powerful wall of water from the reservoir. This flood was 20 times stronger than Niagara Falls, devastating the valley below. Residents had just 20 minutes to flee to higher ground, Thankfully, most escaped, but 11 people and 16,000 animals perished. The flood caused $2 billion in damages, sweeping away buildings and leaving thousands homeless. The Teton Dam collapse wasn't due to one mistake, but a series of them. It was built on unstable land prone to earthquakes. Experts blamed the engineers for these oversights, and the government paid over $300 million in claims to those affected triple the dam's original construction cost. This disaster remains one of the costliest and deadliest in American engineering history. Hyatt Regency Collapse Let's fast forward to the 1970s. In Kansas City, Missouri, construction began on a new Hyatt Regency Hotel project in May 1978. It was completed just over two years later. Today, the hotel still stands tall with 40 stories and over 700 rooms. Back in the 1970s, construction was rushed due to high unemployment inflation, and interest rates. In January 1979, trouble started brewing at the Hyatt Regency Hotel. The issue centered around the atrium, a large space with three walkways hanging from the ceiling. Originally, engineers planned to support the fourth-floor walkway and the second-floor walkway with a single pair of steel rods and nuts. 
However, the fabricators found this design challenging to manufacture and proposed a new design using two pairs of rods for each walkway level. This meant each set of nuts now had to support the weight of both walkways instead of just one, doubling the load. Unfortunately, this crucial change wasn't thoroughly reviewed by the engineers. With everyone rushing to finish the project, the new designs were quickly approved without much scrutiny. The walkways were installed and the hotel opened in July 1980. Disaster struck a year later in July 1981 during a tea dance event in the atrium. The overloaded nuts failed, causing both walkways to collapse onto the crowded lobby floor. The collapse killed 114 people and injured 260 more. The head engineer, Jack D. Gillum, took responsibility for the disaster and lost his engineering license. The Hyatt Regency walkway collapse led to significant changes in construction practices, emphasizing stricter review processes to prevent such mistakes. Engineers play a crucial role in shaping the world through their decisions in building and infrastructure projects. The tragedies discussed in this video serve as important lessons for future engineers. If you found this video informative, consider subscribing for more content. Should we continue this construction mistake series? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.